Welcome everyone to today's pick a card reading. So today's reading is inspired by this right here. This actually fell out in a reading recently. I was in, I believe group one in a recent reading, but anyways, I was sitting here asking spirit, what should today's reading be? And I just kept looking up and seeing this. Miracles happen when you believe. So I'm guided today to do a reading to see what the universe is trying to bless you with. The universe is trying to send you a miracle, trying to send you a blessing. Sometimes when we don't believe this is possible, it can be blocked. So spirit wants it to draw to our attention this amazing thing that wants to come into our lives so we can be open to it, to receiving it, and experience this miracle, experience this blessing. All right, so we have three readings today, three groups. I laid out some of the decks we'll be using today to help you decide. So um, deck number one, this will be for group number one, group number two, and group number three. So see which deck is calling to you most. Maybe it's the color, just something about it you're feeling pulled to. If you're still not sure, you can look down at the timestamps and see if any of the numbers for the readings really resonates with you. Pause the video if you need more time. Again, there will be timestamps and chapters below, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome, group number one, to your reading. You chose this deck here. We will get to that. We're going to start with a different deck today. Thank you so much for being here, group number one. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. So what is the universe trying to bless you with? What miracle, what blessing does the universe have in store for you? Spirit, can you give us some information on this blessing, on this miracle? Whoops. I'll take these two. Elixir of life. Oh, wow. I feel like there's some message here about, well, of course, this like makes me think of longevity, but what I'm thinking of is more like extension of your health. I feel like there's healing here. You're going to be feeling more energy, more youthful, more alive. But let's see what is causing that knowledge i feel like you are being blessed with knowledge that will extend your life that will bring you health longevity healing youth <laughs> um nothing's wrong with aging but as long as we feel good and feel well and healthy and capable and whatever you know that is what you're being blessed with, you're getting amazing knowledge that's going to help you extend your life, help you heal anything that needs to be healed, strengthen anything that needs to be strengthened right now. So we definitely are going to get more information on this. But yeah, you're definitely being blessed with some knowledge on how to heal yourself, heal your life. Um, and miracles, a lot of times when we think of miracles, we think of miraculous healing. I, there's definitely some sort of healing coming here. And it's going to come through a book or knowledge, word of mouth, education of some sort. You're going to hear something, learn something that's going to change your life, that's going to heal your life. And I feel like spirit wants to point this out today. So when you get this knowledge, you are able to actually use it. Because a lot of times like we get knowledge, but we don't always incorporate it into our lives. Um, so it's not really like knowledge that is powerful. It's the action that is powerful and life-changing. So Spirit wants you to acknowledge any of this um, information you find that really resonates for you and actually incorporate it into your life. And it will really do wonders. But let's get more information here. What is this? What is this miracle, this healing? What are you trying to bless group number one with, Spirit? Condor, hold the highest vision of your life. You now possess the ability to move past any hurdles. Yes, you're really going to some, learn that you have the ability. I feel like you always have, but you're getting some sort of knowledge, some ability to move past the problems you've had. And I feel like for a lot of you, oh, my kid, hi, Amy. Um, this could be, again, health, 
it could be any sort of hurdle though you've been having in your life that's been preventing you from living your best life, from feeling your best. Ooh, the eagle. I saw a bald eagle recently. Well, it was so awesome. But anyways, <laughs> you are learning all aspects of spiritual connection in reaching new heights. Learning. Yeah, there's something about knowledge, learning. There's an aspect of spiritual connection in reaching new heights. Something about your spirituality and your faith is really important here with this healing, with moving past hurdles, your connection to spirit. I feel like this is definitely relevant to you guys. Miracles happen when you believe. I feel like you're really deepening your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual connection, your faith. And through this faith it is when these miracles are going to happen, when you're going to have this higher perspective. When I think of eagles, I think of higher perspective. Really, you can think that with any birds because they're soaring up in the sky, right? <laughs> but that's definitely um, a message that comes with eagles is a higher perspective. But you're going to be able to reach new heights, to overcome any hurdles, to get through any hardships you've been dealing with through this belief, through the, your faith, through your spiritual connection. You're going to realize you had the ability to heal to your life in whichever way the whole time. I feel called to bring up the book, um, You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. That could really be helpful for this group. I haven't read it in a while, but it, it really talks about the power of our mind and our beliefs. And it gives specific affirmations. And it's just how we can heal anything that's going on within our body, within our mind, our life. That we are so powerful and we have the ability to, to heal ourselves, to heal our lives, to improve our lives. We have all the tools within. We have this ancient wisdom, this ancient knowledge. And I feel like spirit's really calling your attention to that. And that's something you're going to be discovering. It's like you're having some sort of spiritual awakening that's going to really awaken this innate wisdom within you that's going to help you heal and move forward in, in whatever hardships you're dealing with. This is a very spiritual blessing, uh, but it's life-changing because it's giving you a whole new perspective on life and yourself. Spirit. I'll try and link that book below. Um, it's pretty affordable, I think, too. If you feel called to it. I feel... I'm just going to grab it really quick and let's do some bibliomancy and open up to a page. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I probably won't edit that out. Hopefully it wasn't too long to find this. You can heal your life. <laughs> There's like cat hair all over it. A little dust. So let's just take a look at one page. Oh. So this the page I opened up to was chapter 12, success. Every experience is a success. What does failure mean anyways? But in the beginning of each chapter, there'll be this passage here. Um, there's a whole thing in the back that you can look and see, like specific ailments and what they could be caused by um, spiritually and emotionally and give affirmations for them. So let's say you're having some knee problems. It could be caused by stubborn ego and pride, inability to bend, fear, inflexibility, won't give in. And the affirmation is forgiveness, understanding, compassion. I bend and flow with ease and all is well. But they have this for most things here. But let's read this. In the infinity of life where I am, all is perfect, whole, and complete. My unique creative talents and abilities flow through me and are expressed in deeply satisfying ways. There are people out there who always are looking for my services. I am always in demand and can pick and choose what I want to do. I earn good money doing what satisfies me. 
My work is a joy and a pleasure. All is well in my world. Oh, I used to always say that affirmation. I should start that again. But this chapter, yeah, is all about um, bringing more success to your business and how that could have to do with certain emotional traumas and things we carry in our body. So those of you who are dealing with um, both like emotional issues or maybe it's just like financial issues or troubles with business, work, anything like that. Um, sometimes we don't realize there is an emotional and spiritual component to that. And by healing your emotional body, your spiritual body, I feel like there is, you're going to also be bringing in more money. Spirit wants you to realize that everything's connected. And you could be healing maybe some, what you perceived as past failures and now seeing them as knowledge, they're learning experiences. And you're getting a new perspective and that's going to help you really level up and move forward in life and move past any hurdles. You're not going to get stuck on failures because you're, you're not going to think of them as failures anymore. You're going to think of them as learning experiences and you're going to experience, you're going to incorporate that knowledge, those experiences into your life. And it's going to help you excel and reach new heights. Wow. This is all kind of coming together. I, th I might leave this book. I think I, there's so many books I want to read and reread. But this one's, I think it's an easy read. The chapters are pretty short and it's its just really powerful. I highly recommend I'm, I'll leave this out. I'll, I'll link the Amazon one if you want. Look, over 50 million copies sold. I've heard other people talk about how this is life-changing for them. But of course, use your intuition and see what calls to you. If it calls to you, you know. All right, let's get some more cards out for group number one, Spirit. What are you trying to bless group number one with? Wow. Ride the waves. Life lessons and growth. That's what this is all about. You will get through this. Life lessons and growth. Yeah. This is all about incorporating what, you, what you've been through, um, what you've gone through, and using it as knowledge to move forward. And not let it hold you back, but by using it like for your own benefit, like as in empowerment. So now you you learn lessons and you can do things differently. You can grow, you can evolve, see things from a new perspective, and this will help you reach new heights. You will get through this. Spirit wants you to know you will get through whatever hard time you've been going through. That's for sure. And there's a lot of growth here. We have growth, new heights, moving past things, highest vision. Yeah. immerse yourself wow are you kidding me there's two cards that say learning or everything's about learning okay anyways <laughs> immerse yourself training learning new hobbies passion knowledge and learning and lessons are all over your reading yeah there's also this other message that you will have these new passions that come up and spirits like dive deep learn take classes read books if something lights you up and brings you joy, that's a blessing and it's in and of itself. And you should really immerse yourself in that. You have a desire. You have a passion for something for a reason. Mm -hmm. What else do you have for group number one? Manifestation. I love this card. You're going to manifest the life of your dreams. You might not realize that sometimes even we manifest the negative things around us. I know some people don't like to hear that, but if we're always thinking about our problems or thinking about what bad things are going on, we're going to get more of that or just see more of that because what we think about, we get more of. You can even, There's even science behind this, the reticular, like the, um, reticular, reticular activating system. Like when you have something on your mind, your brain will show you more of it. So spirit wants you to really, instead of thinking about the past failures, thinking about problems, to really think about what you do want. See things from a higher perspective. Hold the highest vision. Think about the life you do want, the outcomes you do want, and then you will start to manifest the things you do want. Like, you know, at what you these miracles, these blessings that you want. Once you believe it's possible and you ha you hold them in your vision and you don't think about the negative outcomes or the negative possibilities or the past, then that is when you will get these blessings and these miracles. So I really want you to incorporate this knowledge and these lessons. I'm sure you've heard of manifestation before and law of attraction, law of assumption and all of that. 
But spirit really wants you to incorporate that knowledge and really use it because it is it was real. <laughs> Miracles really do happen when you believe. And when you don't believe or when you focus on the negative, then that is what will happen. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Let's get some final messages for you. My beautiful group number one. I'm just going to leave it there, but I like to get an angel number and final message with this deck. I think we'll get two of them today. 10, 10. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. I feel like it is up to you. You know, it's your life is up to you. What you think, what you believe, that is what you get. It's up to you to create the life that you truly want. Moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action, unconditional love. It's time to put those long-cherished ideas into action. You will soon come into contact with appropriate individuals, circumstances, and resources. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust in the process. Mm -hmm. Yes, spirit will, wants to bring you new opportunities. New people, circumstances, resources. What else, Spirit, do you have for group? Oh, 20. Group number one, Spirit. I feel like this card's come out a lot lately. <laughs> Zero, five, five, zero, the eye candy. Intuition, inspired action, beauty, art, socializing, flow, potential, romance. Get some fresh air or call some of your pals over. Take a look around you. There is so much natural beauty waiting to be discovered. Either you will soon become involved in an exciting new project or you will go out on a date. Put your charisma to use everywhere. Spread your charm around. I love that. Yeah, I feel like Spirit's definitely um, wanting to bring in new friendships and people into your life, new opportunities, more passion, more fun. But ultimately, Spirit wants is trying to bless you with whatever it is you want. Like it's like all of your dreams and desires. Spirit is wanting you to realize that it's possible. And Spirit is trying to bless you with your dream life with what it is you want and it seems spirit here today is drawing your attention to what may be blocking it because for what that may be specifically will be different for all of you but spirit wanted to give you some guidance and advice and uh, yeah a lot of the things specifically that we're seeing are the healing healing for sure more knowledge passion relationships friendships you know uh, all types of relationships, new projects, new opportunities, new experiences, more joy, whatever it is you want to manifest. So I hope you got some guidance and some insight today that is helpful. Uh, again, I will link that book below if that was calling to you, if that really resonated and felt like a yes in your body. Um, Thank you guys so much for being here. If you did get value from this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. Use code ABUNDANCE in all caps to save 11% on your first reading. I will leave that down below in case you want to um, look into the offer or send it to anyone else you think would be interested. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I love you, group number one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Welcome group number two to your reading. So what miracle, what blessing, what is spirit trying to bring into your life? What does spirit want to bless you with? So you chose this deck here. We're going to start with another one though. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. Spirit, what are you trying to bring forth into group number two's life? Wisdom. Okay, love that. Oh, cool. We have octopus. That was, I'm so fascinated with them. But, yeah, I feel like you're 
you're definitely getting some wisdom that fascinates you. Let's see what this wisdom is about. That could be about anything, but that is a wonderful gift to have. More wisdom. <laughs> okay, give some cat pets. Might be cat hair. <laughs> uh, thanks, Emmy, for joining us. Spirit, what are you bringing forth into group number two's life? Overcome fear. All right, it looks like you're... You know, these can be two separate things, but you're also together. I'm saying you're getting the wisdom. You're learning how to overcome your fears and go after your dreams to go after what it is you truly desire. This is running of hermit energy, but also the star. So some of you guys could be, have been just like keeping to yourself or maybe you've been really diving deep into the wisdom, into learning into studying, into your passion, but fear has been preventing you from incorporating it into your life, from maybe making it into a business or sharing it on social media, whatever it is. Um, but spirits are really um, blessing you with overcoming this fear so you can share your gift, share your wisdom with the world. And this could really be a success with the star energy coming through. Wish fulfillment. Wow, interesting. Yeah, I feel like you really are so wise and have so much to share. I feel like, yeah, you guys are so fascinating. You know so much. You are like this brilliant hermit. You know, the hermit is someone that just has so much innate wisdom. And I feel like that is you, group number two, and you're meant to share it. And fear has been holding you back in some sort of way, whether it has to do with sharing your wisdom in some or some other sense in your life. And spirit is trying to bless you with something with the life you want with what you are desiring but it wants you to realize that fear could be blocking you from accepting these blessings these miracles so let's get some more information here what are you trying to bring forth into group number two life Wow, you guys are such healing. Okay, white turkey, the power to heal the earth is within you. You guys, sharing your wisdom, sharing your light is a blessing to the world. You guys are healers in whatever way. You are powerful healers. And just knowing that wisdom, that you are this healer, Hopefully that could help you overcome this fear because when you when you contain your light, you don't share your light or share your wisdom, then you're preventing the earth from people, from animals, whoever it is, from from healing. You know, people will benefit from you, benefit your light. Okay, spirit well. It's interesting. I feel like spirit today is mostly coming through so far with like guidance and advice on how to get the miracles <laughs> um, and blessings. So I think really like spirit wants you to like, well, I mean, of course we're getting more cards, but it seems that whatever you want, <laughs> that's what spirit's trying to bring you, but is giving you guidance on what could be blocking you from from getting this and it seems fear is definitely the main culprit on what is preventing you so far from getting the blessings and miracles you want in your life Ooh, look, it's pretty green what is this oh a hummingbird release what you've been carrying and lighten up new joys on the way release the fear <laughs> release the fear and release the past something in the past may have happened that made you lose confidence in your abilities or maybe you're just worried that there'll be people who are like put you down and criticize you, whatever it is, because of past experiences. Release that spirit saying, lighten up, new joy is on the way. Spirit is blessing you. Spirit wants to bless you with new joy, new experiences. So much joy and happiness, yes. But you've been hiding away. You've been, not been sharing your light. You've been, because of the fear, because of the past, what you've been carrying around with you. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number two? What are you trying to bless them with? What messages do you have? Wow. The pearl. Alchemy. The reward at the end from grit to grace. You know, when you think about how pearls are made, they start with like a little bit of grit, a little bit of sand that gets into the 
the oyster or whatever it is the is that what you would call it the shell the oyster is that where pearls are in you know the, the <laughs> um yeah i think it's an oyster well the the shells the the living thing with shell. oh my god i feel like okay hey siri where do pearls come from mollusks okay they're called mollusks also known as pearl oysters okay <laughs> Mollusks. Okay, so they come from the mollusk. A little sand or grit gets within them, and then they, you know, that's not comfortable. They don't like it, but what do they do? They alchemize it. They take that feeling of discomfort, and they make it into something beautiful. So Spirit wants you to know that going through a little discomfort, fight, facing your fears, you know, making forward mo movements towards your goals and your dreams and won't be comfortable. When you do that, that is when you will get the beautiful outcome, the beautiful rewards, the blessings, the miracles that spirit wants to bring you. And some of you guys may have gone through hard times in your life. I mean, we all have, but this could be something that you use, like something difficult happened to you. Um, and because of that, you have so much wisdom and experience. And it doesn't even necessarily be difficult. Just life happened to you, you know. And whatever your life experiences are, maybe you are meant to share them and heal them, you know. Alchemize, transmute the pain you may have experienced or the hardships and use it to create art or to help heal others. And there's just so much beauty coming out of any difficult times and also from facing your fears. But there's definitely a reward coming for you. Spirit wants you to know there's something beautiful, a beautiful gift, a beautiful reward is coming into your life. That is something Spirit wants to bless you with. Mollusk. <laughs> Mollusk. It's an interesting word to say. Mollusk. Spirit, what messages do you have for group number two? The sacred well, replenishment, self-care, giving from a place of plenty. Yeah, spirit is really trying to bless you with just feeling nourished, feeling happy, feeling whole. Some of you guys could be um, being blessed with a vacation, time in nature. Maybe like a home that feels like a sanctuary for you. More peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Spirit's definitely, definitely sending you peace, joy, contentment, and safe space. But also, think about this, giving from a place of plenty. I feel like you guys really are, you serve others in some way, you're healers. And by sharing your gift, I feel like you are going to be blessed with abundance. It's kind of giving me Empress vibes. Can be getting a lot of abundance in your life um you know maybe you don't really like your current job or something and you start to do a healer or start to share your art in some sort of way or just follow your passions and maybe fear has been stopping you from pursuing that and once you do like spirit there's a lot of abundance and, and recognition from the star energy coming through for you Mm -hmm. You guys are very intuitive. On the bottom we have, trust your inner compass. Be led from within. Yeah, your intuition's been calling you somewhere. And you guys have a very strong intuition. You guys are healers. You're, you have a very spiritual energy to you. What message do you have for group number two? Wow. <laughs> Expect miracles. And look where I'm putting this under. Expect miracles, you guys. I believe it's possible. When you believe, miracles happen. Expect miracles, for real. Okay. Spirit's being vague today because the miracle that's going to happen for each of you is going to be different and unique and special for you. So Spirit's giving you more advice and an idea of what's coming and... Really, the main message so far is that fear and the past and, 
Yeah, negative thoughts and not believing is what has been blocking this miracle from happening so far. But once you believe and once you are willing to step out of your comfort zone, that is when this miracle, miracles are going to happen. Multiple miracles. A huge reward. Yeah, you've been going through tough times, you know, your life, whatever, but there's blessings. There is a reward here. There's miracles here. Step through the discomfort, through the fears, take action towards your goals, believe they're possible, and that is when you will be blessed. And look at this joy, and we had joy here too. There's so much joy and peace and love and abundance coming for you, group number two. Now let's get some final messages for you. Spirit, what final messages do you have for group number two? Two, 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 <laughs> for two, okay. Feminine forces, relationships, balance, prosperity, efficiency, patience, humility. You can do everything by yourself, but life is to be shared. Partner up with the right spirit and you'll become a force. Honor commitments and people around. Don't judge, listen, okay. A lot of you, maybe you are trying to call in a relationship or better friendships or business partnerships, whatever it is. And again, I was picking up on Hermit energy earlier. Maybe you guys really have been doing everything by yourself. Spirit's like, you don't have to do it all alone. And you can always ask for your angelic help or for your spirit guides, your ancestors. You can let them in and let them help you. Let them bring these miracles to you. But also, yeah, you don't need to do everything alone. You can let let others in. And I feel like spirit is one of the miracles spirit is or in blessing spirits bringing into group number two's life is partnership, relationships of all kinds. You don't need to be lonely. You don't need to go at it alone. All right, spirit, what final message do you have for group number two? Twelve, twelve. persistence, shift, enthusiasm, gratitude, contentment, new experiences. Oh, happy day. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. Wow. So Spears wants you to face your fears because there's going to be an opportunity. Spears blessing you with an opportunity soon. That can bring you so much joy, even some love and a partnership. But Spirit doesn't want you to let fear hold you back from going after this, from taking action towards it. So yeah, look out for some beautiful opportunity soon and don't let fear hold you back. And if you do feel some fear, maybe just, just let your angels know. Pray for protection and for guidance and just trust, trust that everything is working out for you. My beautiful group number two, because it is. Yes, it is. So that concludes your reading. I hope this resonated. I hope you got some guidance, some information from it. I hope you got value from this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. Use code ABUNDANCE in all caps to save 11% on your first reading. I will leave that down in the description in case you want to look into that more or send it to someone else who may benefit from it. Thank you again for being, for being here. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number two. Welcome group number three to your reading. Okay, so I literally just looked at my clock or my watch to see what time it was before starting. And look, we have three, three, three for group number three. <laughs> uh, so I feel like that's special. Maybe some of you guys see the number three a lot, three, three, three. Or you'll be seeing that uh, after this reading and that could be confirmation from your spirit team letting you know this miracle, this blessing is on its way and you are on the right track. Beautiful. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading. 
you chose this deck here, which we'll use in a moment. We're going to start off with another one. So what does the universe want to bless you with? I feel like that card definitely wanted to come out. Happiness. Oh, beautiful. The universe wants to bless you with happiness. That's for sure. Let's see how. Okay. What do you want to bless group number three with? Equilibrium. Okay, spirit wants to bring more balance into your life. Things have been off. Maybe there's been a lot of stress, a lot of struggle, just something off. Maybe even an imbalance with your feminine and masculine energies. Spirit wants to bring more balance into your life more happiness. And I think through bringing balance into your life, you will experience more joy, more happiness. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'm looking at what the images are on here. We have these shells, some water. Maybe some people have been feeling some emotional imbalance, perhaps. It could be really anything, but I feel like it's overall in your life, more balance. You know, life gets crazy in this modern age. Busy, stressful, and what spirit is blessing you with, yeah, balance, happiness. Let's see what else and expand on this for you. What are you trying to bring forth into group number three's life? Wait, this is the deck you guys chose. I said this was the deck you chose. <laughs> you, we started with your deck. Not like that matters, but just FYI in case someone's like, huh? You guys, the deck we started with is what you chose. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, okay, Spirit, what do you want to bring in to group number three's life? Ooh, it looks like a peacock feather. Yep. <laughs> Inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and and ready yourself for a rebirth. Wow, rebirth is coming. Inherent wisdom. That's interesting. We talked about that in group number one. If you felt called to group number one, there's a lot of messages about our inherent wisdom that you might really resonate with. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> Spirits. So here's the Blackbird, the magical and unique qualities of your untapped potential are unfolding now. Wow, isn't this interesting? Inherent wisdom, magical, unique qualities, untapped potential. Yeah, you have some innate qualities about you, innate gifts, passions that are emerging. And that's going to feel like a rebirth. And it's going to bring a lot of happiness. These could be like things that you're just naturally talented at. And you're like, and like, how did I even know how to do this? Or like, or it could just be that you're just super passionate with it. And this could be maybe something you did in a past life. And that's why it just feels so right. But yeah, there's, I feel like you guys could really be developing uh, some psychic intuitive gifts here. Untapped potential. All right, let's get more cards. What is it was interesting in the um, previous readings, Spirit was a little vague on what specifically the miracle and blessing was for those groups and gave us like ways to un get. Oh, hi, Emmy. <laughs> uh, we got a special visitor here. You see that little paw? Oh my gosh. You're, why, why are they so cute? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. Bye. Um, <laughs> Sorry for the straight. Not sorry, but you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get specific things. We got more what is blocking it because Spirit was saying in those groups that uh, what they're wanting is going to be different for each person. And it's like what you're wanting, what you're desiring, what you're trying to manifest. That's what Spirit's trying to bring you. So we'll see if that's the same here because it does... It does seem like Spirit is calling you to use your inherent wisdom and your magical and unique abilities. You guys could be really developing uh, strong manifestation methods or abilities here. But I also feel like coming into equilibrium, being in a happier, positive state will help you manifest miracles so much better and also tap into these abilities. Because when you're feeling off balance, you're feeling stressed, you're feeling unhappy you really block out those magical parts of yourself, your intuition. 
So I feel like you're really coming into this balance here. I feel like you're balancing your feminine and masculine for sure. You're feeling happier and you're going to really develop these skills and get clarity um, on what actions to take and clarity on what it is you want. And you're really going to become a powerful manifester. And you're going to start to see so many blessings and miracles happen. Things that you truly want and desire. The Healing Lagoon. Rejuvenate recovery. Time to heal. It's safe to stop. Okay, with equilibrium, yeah, there's healing coming. Spirit's definitely bringing uh, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual healing for you. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like there has been a lot of stress, a lot of busyness, and now you're going to be able to have the time to heal, to recover, to let go of what's no longer necessary in your life. And the inherent wisdom I'm thinking is like your inherent, like your body like knows how to heal itself. And I feel like we block it out with all of busyness of life and everything. Just taking the time to listen to your body and to heal. But there's definitely better health coming for you, especially mentally. But this could be physical, you know, it's all connected. You're healing. You are totally healing. And this has come up in other readings. Um recently and I feel like with the magical the black work coming out you could be healing even um like ancestral stuff generational witch wound and also stuff from this life there's so much healing happening here that's going to help bring so much happiness and balance into your life wow and call healer <laughs> seer priestess priest priestess priestess soul purpose you guys are healers I say this often in group number three but also you're healing yourself first. You are, you are, you're using your inherent wisdom, your own capabilities, your own, you know, you are healing yourself. You are healing your body and you're healing the generations to come and those before you. You're healing so, so much. And this could be your life purpose to heal. Even if it's not your profession, you are definitely healing your ancestors, your, you know, like I said, the seven generations before you, after the innate witch wound you have, you're healing so much. And this is going to be so liberating. You guys are, yeah, you're powerful healers, powerful manifestors, very magical beings. I feel like you definitely were a priest or priestess in past lives. Definitely witch lifetimes, many very magical and i feel like a lot of you are just and maybe you already know this but you're definitely your skills and your abilities are really like coming online or <laughs> that's a weird i feel weird whenever i say that coming online but you know they're they're becoming activated you're becoming aware of them and yeah wow what else spirit for group number three Do the work. When I see this, it's like do the work is like do the healing work. On the bottom deck, we have mother, father, God. I think this is a different meaning in the guidebook, but it makes me think, yeah, healing generational things, um, stuff with your parents. But you're really going to be doing the work. A lot of you could have already been doing healing work, you know, doing the shadow work, all of that. But Spirit's can, encouraging you to keep doing the work. Um, and also do the work like healing could be your work. Whether it's a profession or you just help, your, you know, after helping yourself, you just help those around you. You guys are healers. And by doing this work, um, healing yourself, you're also learning more about this. And you can share what you've learned with other people. Hmm. Yeah, but um, you could be called to do healing like we've been talking about. You can look into different uh, modalities here. The happiness cards make me think of the sun card, which is making me think of inner child healing. Um, so really, do what feels like a yes in your body, like what you know what feels right to you. You don't need to do everything I'm saying. I'm just seeing what I'm, what's coming up here. Like I said, witch wound healing, um, generational healing, ancestral healing, whatever healing is really feeling like right to you doing that work is what you're being called to do or to continue doing and again you have all 
of this innate wisdom within you. And I feel like by studying this stuff, by doing that work, that is when you will discover these these magical skills you have, these beautiful inherent gifts, unique gifts, healing gifts that you possess. And doing the work doesn't need to be strenuous. You know, it could just be slowing down and listening to your body and meditating. When you say work, you think a, like a lot of masculine energy. So I feel like maybe a lot of you have been in the masculine a lot, doing a lot. You're being called to s s slow down and go within. The healing is within you already. You have the power within you. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah, overall, you're, the miracle, the blessing is healing. You're going to be healing. And once you're healed, you're going to be in equilibrium. You're going to be feel balanced. You're going to feel happier. And then your whole life is it's going to be like a rebirth. You're going to feel lighter. You're going to feel happier. You're just going to be able to focus on other manifestations. Life is just going to just be so much lighter and fun and beautiful. I'm not saying it isn't already, but even more so. Healing, yeah. Yeah, this is the group that was the most clear on what specifically it is. Definitely healing. Oh, look what came out. Four. <laughs> four, 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 four. Blessing in disguise. Obstacles, hardships, strength, building character, experience. There might be some difficulties ahead, but you will push through. You got this. If you have been struggling or feeling lost, the winds of change will blow in your favor if you've been suffering or feeling lost. Um... Some things may fall apart, but you're building the framework for something much better. Hang in there. Sorry, I paused. I was like, is that like a, some type of... <laughs> Hang in there. You're, you're doing the work. You will get through this. There's healing here. And through these hardships, you're going to see the silver lining because you're healing yourself. And now you're going to be able to use that ability to heal others, help others. And utilize these gifts. Magic comes from pain. I feel like that's a quote from the magicians show, but magic comes through pain. And I feel like you're really going to be developing your psychic gifts, your magic through the, the pain, through the healing process. But you're going to see the silver lining in that because of that. And you're going to come out so much stronger. You are such an amazing healer. Definitely, with all these fours, I'm thinking angelic energy. You're definitely protected. You have a lot of angelic energy around you. And then we have one, two, three, four. Good luck, spirit guides, progress, justice, structures, systems, processes, conditioning, and rules. You are on the right track. Someone from the other side, I was just thinking of all this energy, but anyway, someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. Yeah, you have an ancestor or someone that passed on that's very present with you as well. Uh, and they're encouraging you to keep pushing. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. You are on the right track. Forward progression here. When I see one, two, three, four, I think on the right track. Yes, and it says it there too. But wow. You guys are magical, magical beings. Super powerful healers. So the miracle, the blessing coming to you is healing. And that will just, again, just change your life, bring things into balance, so much happiness, peace, and really um, help you find your soul purpose. If you feel like you haven't found that yet, you're really stepping into that through this healing process, through discovering these gifts and your healing powers. So that is huge. Awesome. So that concludes your reading, group number three. I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you got value from it. If you did get value from the reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. Use code ABUNDANCE in all caps to save 11% on your first reading. I will leave that information in the description if you want to check it out or pass that along to someone you think would benefit from a reading. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I love you so much group number three and I will see you in the next one. Bye!